Hi, welcome to part 11 of the analysis and design of a flyback. Um, I'm going to be discussing uh, what common mode noise is. It's a very common problem with uh, switch mode power supplies and uh, there's a little bit of a mystery about uh, common mode. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to cover what is common noise mode noise okay and then how common mode is generated try to give you a a uh, intuitive feel for it and then on the next video part 11 I'll show how to design or how the common mode filter works or how to design one okay so, to get a feel for this common mode noise, okay, we have to draw a uh, a very simplified a schematic of uh, what's happening, okay. And uh, right here, you have your bus, okay. And uh, typically on spacecraft power nominal voltage is 28 volts so we'll use that as an example and typically you are always going to have three uh, lines although one of the lines may not be specifically uh, mentioned or defined but the third line is really the earth uh, line uh, they also call it chassis Okay, and that could be part of the spacecraft, or if you're working in the uh, television, uh, the chassis was the actual metal box enclosure, so that would be called the earth or the chassis. Okay, and you also have this, which is your line. You can also refer to it as hot, the hot side. That's the first line. And the second line, this is, it can be defined as return. Another name for it is uh, neutral. Neutral. Okay. So plus or negative is also be referred. Okay. So this is your bus, or could be your input filter as well. Okay. And this side will be a very simplified flyback okay and primarily you're gonna have a transformer okay and I'm not showing I'm just showing the primary side okay just to simplify it okay and you're gonna have a MOSFET and of course the MOSFET is controlled by the PWM okay so with this schematic or simplified drawing okay okay let me add another one okay typically when you have a MOSFET okay it generates quite a bit of current as you know that if you've watched the previous uh, videos that if the average current is one amp then the peak current will be four times bigger than your average so you'll have a peak of four amps okay and with that type of current this MOSFET has a tendency of getting hot okay and for semiconductors that's bad usually as the temperature of the junction gets hotter and hotter then you start having reliability problems you can start having failures okay so what we do is to keep the temperature under control power MOSFETs usually have 
uh, big surface areas. Okay, uh, they can have uh, one of the TO 222s as a typical. It's got a little fin. And let me see if I can draw it. it. Looks something like this. And it's got a metal tab, and then you have your three legs, and you have a little center where you can screw it. And typically, what you want to do is you want to mount the MOSFET to a, either the chassis, okay, or a heat sink, okay. And even the heat sink, you want that mounted or somehow have that heat transfer from the MOSFET to the heat sink, and from the heat sink, typically will be tied uh, to ground okay so this is what this little drawing is this is supposed to be the heat sink okay and what's a heat sink it's just a piece of metal okay with a large surface area to dissipate the heat okay now since these are typically mounted in other words the MOSFET is mounted to the heat sink the 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 drain is typically connected to the tab or to the metal okay and if this is at a potential ground and if you notice it's connected here typically it's tied the earth is tied to the neutral or should I say the neutral or the return path is tied to the chassis and typically you'll have a small the little shorting wire will have a small inductance very small okay but typically this is going to be zero two and if this drain case has 28 volts you cannot attach it directly to the metal part otherwise you short the 28 volts so what you put is you put a small insulator Okay, insulator. Okay, uh, to to uh, prevent it from shorting out. Let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and show some examples. See if we can find an example, and I'm doing this for those that don't have as much experience with uh, power. Okay, and let's say like a TO220. Okay, insulators. Okay, okay, we'll go to images. Okay. So here you see, here's your TL2 case, and here's the little rubber uh, insulator. Okay, you put that between the MOSFET and the chassis. As you can tell, here is the transistor, and in between, uh, you put uh, the little grommet. Now, this can be a little rubber grommet. Another thing that they use is mica. That's another one. So this is all sort. Now here's a very good picture. Here's your MOSFET. You have the insulator and then you have the chassis. Okay. So typically you have that. So what's the big thing about that? Okay. Well, this is what happens. <clears throat> okay. What happens is let me see where I'm at. You have a metal plate here okay then you have an insulator and then remember the drain where the tap is is a metal
got the me uh, metal. So metal, insulator, metal. Does that ring any bell? Actually forms a capacitor. Okay. So basically what you do when you ground your MOSFET to the ground uh, of the heat sink, you form a small capacitor, okay? Which brings me to the next definition of sorts. And that common mode is leakage or it's current uh, that's a uh, path is to chassis ground. In other words, it's some kind of current this is the chassis that is flowing to chassis. Now the current can be flowing from the return to chassis or it could be from the line to chassis. Okay. Okay. So by definition, if you have current mode, then you actually have capacitive current. So capa a common mode current is actually capacitive. Okay. And how? Kind of explained it in that it forms a capacitor. Okay. So here's another simplified. Okay. Let me move it up a little bit. Wrong. too far okay <clears throat> so now I'm able to explain a little bit better okay so now to help explain how this current flows okay we can insert a capacitor in between the drain and the chassis and I'll call it C D E meaning that this is a capacitor that's connected from the drain to earth. Earth is, would be this line. Okay. So now let's assume that Let's assume these uh, initial conditions. Okay, assume that the MOSFET is off. Okay, which I have here. Okay, and let's assume that CDE has no charge. In other words, the voltage is zero. Or VCDE is zero. Okay and then power is applied okay so basically power is zero and then it goes and turns on okay so what happens you have this voltage that comes in through here goes through the inductor okay now remember the MOSFET is off so that current can flow here so what happens is this line <coughs> charges up and when it charges it charges this capacitor okay C D E and when it's charging up you actually impose current so that's a little spike that you get it's a little common mode okay so basically you have already ICM flowing from the line okay and it flows through the capacitor and you have ICM flowing to ground okay so let's check the next condition <coughs> okay 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So CD. Okay. Now remember it was initially zero. CD was initially zero. And CD. ended up going to 28 volts it's charge so now the next condition follows okay got that so now CDE is charged to 28 volts okay now the MOSFET is turned on. Okay. Now that it's on, what happens? The drain and source is shorted. So basically, it's a short. This capacitor is charged. So now, current, the charge that's stored, is being discharged through the MOSFET. Okay and then you get what is ICM this is the common mode this is the current so it's going to induce a negative pulse that goes negative okay goes through the return comes back through here okay goes through the heat sink and then back to the capacitor so this is the path that is flowing okay right and if you were to look this on a scope let's say you were to put a current probe through both of these and a probe at the drain you would see that as the voltage switch in other words the drain <coughs> goes to zero because the MOSFET is turned on the drain voltage should go to zero. And it will induce a negative pulse. Okay. So that's during that cycle. But if you notice, current is between your earth and your return. Okay. So the next and third scenario okay it's this one okay so in the prior one remember we were discharging the cap okay so now the initial condition is zero okay so we have that condition it's discharge now the MOSFET is turned off so then what happens the drain quickly rises to 28 volts so this goes up in voltage okay so basically this is where we were on the previous step so now we're going from 0 volts to 28 volts okay and when this rises fast you got current flowing through here okay so you're gonna have current that's gonna flow from your line and this would be ICM flows through the primary and, and it does not flow through the MOSFET but rather it flows through CDE chassis and then it flows back to your common and then it actually returns through the voltage source and so forth okay so you have this condition Okay, so basically the rising drain causes ICM to flow 
from the hot to the earth. Okay, so basically now you have these two lines that are conducting the common mode. I'll call, th I'll call this line. Okay, so what's common? Well, what's common is that now you have noise This is Earth, and this uh, I'll call return and line, and that you have this type of signal on the Earth, but you also have this type of signal that is riding. Oh, I'm sorry, because you have a cap in between for differential for diff mode <coughs> excuse me at high frequency this is considered a short okay so typically well one of them was carrying a positive or a negative they end up having sharing both the positive and negative okay so that's why these two lines end up with this uh, leakage signal uh, because of the capacitor or the common mode capacitor that you have in between. Okay, so essentially that's hopefully I've explained it well enough uh, to help you understand what common mode is and uh, how it is gen generated in part uh, belief 12 I'll go ahead and design uh, uh, input filter that will help uh, reduce the common mode noise thank you for watching